Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike. Last video I actually forgot to give you a compliment, so now you get two. First of all, I'm gonna say that you look like you had an excellent sleep. And also, your eyebrows just look fantastic. So today I wanted to talk about the show that for me was The Blueprint. So if I think about Riverdale and how insane that show is. I'm a weirdo. For me, Pretty Little Liars was like the benchmark for that. The way in which that show had me by the throat, like the cliffhangers. I think that show actually was probably the cause of some of my anxiety. Surely this show didn't happen. Maybe this is all some elaborate dream. And at the start of the dream, that's when Pretty Little Lies started. And now I'm getting towards the end of the dream and I'm reflecting on the start of the dream. And I'm like, why? We're gonna start by going through some of the texts from A. So if you don't know who A is, then first of all, how did you get here? And second of all, A is like the stalker that had these girls on lock from the start. So we're starting off with a bang. This is my favorite one. Call off your techno boy toy or I tell the cops what your mum keeps in the lasagna box. Just wow. Out of context, it's just the most ridiculous thing. Techno boy toy? Because he can use a computer? Is that me? Am I a techno boy toy? Or I tell the cops what your mom or your mom keeps in the lasagna box. The lasagna box? But for real though, call off your techno boy toy before I tell the cops what your mom keeps in the lasagna box. Bitch. I know they're going space, 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 dash A full stop. Like a little petty bitch, you know? I know A was a petty bitch. It's the same color scheme as me today, orange on black. Do something original. Mention me and someone dies. You have 30 seconds to leave that room. A said, keep my name out your mouth. When I leave, you wanna keep doing this. But yeah, when I come around, you don't wanna post up. Mention me and someone dies, periodic table. You have 30 seconds to leave that room, periodicity. I came to grab you for lunch, but Hackett said you were leaving earlier. Should I be worried? First of all, I'd like to point out that Ari is absolutely serving. She's turning a look today at school. She's decided I'm gonna wear the super mega high boots and ain't a bitch gonna tell me that I can't. Fire and beat. That's a beat, open your window. You like jazz? Ari said, open your window. And her mom said, I will not. But I fuck with you for trying. Ah, the timing. A sends the text, gets on the call with the bees. A says to bees and says, it's go time. Let's go fly through the vents. <laughs> Just open the window. Ira's mum said, I'd rather get stung by bees 500 times than open the window. I don't want to catch the virus. I don't recall this at all. It's some kind of repressed memory that I've buried deep in my mind. I thought I never want to see this again. Do rag Toby. Not this. Here we have Emily serving face, and this exact moment is when Hannah decided, I'ma fuck it up. It's me, Jesse, and Ari. If we, if they test me, they're sorry. Ride us up like a hurry and pull up. I just know that Ashley Benson was thinking, Why? Why not? I have no thoughts watching this. My brain cells, they've up and left. Break up Hannah and her hottie, or you go back to being a junior high naughty. Don't test me. But this time we get less spaces. This looks like nine spaces. Dash A. Rhyming naughty with hottie. Wow, that's some real Nicki Minaj level flow. Oh my god, Tippy the bird. What was the point of this? What was the point of any of this? Come get this bird, Hannah. It's driving me crazy. All right, get the fuck ASAP. Shut the fuck up. Hannah, it's not a song that Tippy's singing. It's a phone number. <laughs> the trauma that this show put me through and for what? The fact that the bird was singing the phone number and then Spencer thinks, oh my God, I'm gonna ring the phone number. You rat out T, I take down one of your three dash A etched into some glasses. The ingenuity. Did A go to the effort of putting a full stop after three? You rat out T, I take down one of your three, period. I'm just imagining A sitting there in the lair with like a scalpel and the glasses being like, period. Here we have the partners of the main characters, and I'd just like to point out that Mr. Sir, second from the right, Ezra, was the teacher of the other three. Just imagine standing on the stairs half naked in a Santa suit with your teacher, who is also half naked. 
Cut the cameras. Dead end. Ezra gives me mega, mega Will Schuster vibes, but like specifically when Rachel falls in love with Mr. Schuster and does all those chores around his house, like that kind of vibe. Oh, this one was me when I rearranged the alphabet. Buckle up, bitches. Nothing is as it seems. You know what? For this one, we get dash dash A. The way in which, oh my God, when I'd watch this show live, I'd be like, pause, rewind. We need to say that again. That has dash dash A. Dash dash implies two. That means there are two A's or A has two legs. So if there was a character that had one leg that I thought was A, can't be them because this implies two legs. I like how it says unknown and then also blocked ID. Get back or I'll blow your head off. This was my pivot point in the show. Um, I decided to just think about nothing. Just go in expecting literally nothing and then everything was exciting. Hey, Shauna. She's dead. In this show, people have been shot. People fell down elevator shafts, people were burnt. There was explosions, hit by cars, all that jazz. And then Shauna fell a meter and a half off a stage and she said, all right, I'm gonna head out. When this happened, I remember thinking that is solid proof. That is everything I need to confirm my suspicions that Arya is in fact A. And also Arya has two A's in her name, which implies dash dash, dash dash A. We're gonna end on a scientific note. Um, this show was scary. This show was scary, let's not get that twisted. This was frightening. Emily! Oh my God, this is really cold. Here we have Arya and Spencer trapped in a freezer. And that freezer is luxe. I would love to go in that freezer. Trap me in that freezer, honestly. That's liquid nitrogen. What does that mean? It means that the temperature's gonna drop all those here and if we don't get out of here really soon, we're gonna freeze to death. Spencer was such a baddie. She's serving that SVU computer nerd type of vibe where if there's something that the audience needs explaining, then that's that one character that just like says it. That's liquid nitrogen. If we don't get out, bitch, we're gonna freeze to death, period. The bees in Ari's mum's car after they've killed her and they're trying to get out. The production value, the set pieces, this show, a blessing, honestly. Don't get it twisted, I was obsessed with this show and it had such a huge fan base, so obviously it was a good show. It's definitely one of those shows that I wish I could watch again for the first time. That brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you want me to make another one of these, let me know. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe or button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all soon. Peace out. Bye. It's Christmas. Let's go home. Periodicity. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.